Wow, even at a high temperature of 84 degrees Celsius, the ice still doesn't melt? All right, everyone. Today, we've got a very special experiment for you, the thermal insulation test. The purpose of this test? To measure the temperature difference between two sides of a material, one coated with thermal insulation and the other left uncoated. Now, check out this device on my right. It's our digital temperature controller. It keeps the material surface at a steady temperature. Before we begin, safety first. Make sure you've got gloves and all protective gear on. And heads up, this material gets hot, so be extra cautious to avoid burns. Okay, turning on the controller now. See, it's already reading 24 degrees Celsius. That means the temperature will start climbing gradually from here. Next, I'll place these ice cubes onto different sections. Left side coated with insulation, right side uncoated. Watch how fast they melt as we heat it up slowly. Look, the ice on the uncoated side is melting away completely, while the ice on the insulated side? Still holding up. While we wait, check out the thickness of this insulation layer on the side. Pretty impressive, right? Now, after some time, uncoated side, ice totally gone. Insulated side, ice still intact. Fast forwarding a bit. The temperatures now hit 84 degrees Celsius. Insulated side, ice still mostly solid. Uncoated side, water's bubbling, almost boiling already. Time for tool number two, the temperature gun. This shows the exact surface temps, pointing it at the uncoated section. Whoa, watch it spike. 89, 90, 97, 99. Now the insulated side, dropping fast down to 42 degrees Celsius. See that difference? Proof right here. This insulation material works amazingly well. Follow me to learn more anti-corrosion tips.